first of all, this is a really special occasion. We're sitting here with Telly Awards. Three Telly Awards that we won, of course, uh, for cinematography, videography, and none of this would be possible without the producer, the cameraman, the guy that's making it happen with the fishing story. My man right here, Michael Johnson. And first of all, I want to thank his, uh, his parents, you know, for, for recommending him. And I tell you what, it's, it's one of the best things I've done since I've been doing TV. He's a really good guy. He knows what he's doing, a lot of integrity, and that's, what's, that's the most important thing to me. I love doing TV, but when you can get a little affirmation to tell you that you're on the right track, doing the right things, first of all, from the audience, and then from folks who have been doing this for a long, long time, competing against so many different people around the world, this is really special to us. So what do you think, Mike? Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely exciting. Uh, about a year ago, Ronnie came to me. We were sitting at breakfast after ICAST. It's actually the first job that I did with Ronnie. I think it was like a year ago. Yep. And uh, we, the last day of ICAST, we sat down at breakfast and he was like, Man, you probably don't see this in yourself, but I really think you could do this, you know, full time and for a career. And, you know, back then I was like, I don't think so, you know. But okay, so he, we kept working together, and eventually, you know, I started doing it full time and traveling with Ronnie, doing a whole bunch of shows. And now we're here. A year ago, if you would have told me that, I literally would have laughed in your face, not being rude, but I was like, no way. You know, but all it took was one person believing in me and believing what I'm, what I do, and uh, really just having the confidence in me to, you know, do what I do out there on when we do shows. So I think it's it's awesome. It's exciting. Very exciting. And then one of the things that uh, you need to understand that you see two silvers, and then you see the rest goals. Let me tell you the significance of a silver award for an outdoor show. We've never won a silver award. The Silver Award came from the Rick Emmett Show in Springfield at the Bass Pro Shops, a uh, place there at Big Cedar Lodge. Mm -hmm. the production value was incredible. We'd like to thank all the folks that helped us put this thing together. Yeah. Um, the story was unbelievable with Rick. Um, but Michael had a, a really good vision on how he wanted to do it because people think you just go out and shoot a show and, uh, you know, almost like a camcorder and hope for the best. That's not the way it works. No. There's a shot list, and then it has to be scrubbed, and then, you know, you go back and forth with me, of course, and, and then there's a lot of other things that go on behind the scenes as well. But we can do any of this no. without our editor, yeah. Brian yeah. McCowan. Yeah. Brian is a beast, and so you can have all the best shots in the world, but if you can't put it on, uh, you know, the timeline correctly and add all the bells and whistles and nice little things, none of this matters. That's a fact. So we appreciate yeah. it, and he's also been mentoring, you know, Michael and uh, myself, uh, yeah. just mentoring me on. You don't have to do any more. Uh, 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 what is it called? Where I have to do all the writing and. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't have to do any of that stuff anymore. But I am so excited about where we're going, folks. This is just the beginning. Michael is the truth, and uh, he's not just a great drummer. He's a great producer. He's got the hardware to prove it. Yeah, just uh, I want to piggyback off of what Ronnie said. He said everything that you know I was thinking. You could literally have all the best shots in the world, but without an editor to know how to put it together, it's useless. It's it's literally useless. So yeah, guys, just um, stay tuned for. We have a lot of stuff coming. Um, actually, we're about to do a lot of cool stuff with our his YouTube channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll see you in the future.